We are a family of six who call the ocean our home. We feel incredibly blessed to be doing this life together as a young family, embracing the ups and downs of what is a life at sea. This is our floating home, happy days, and you are invited to follow along as we share this incredible adventure. Have a laugh and be inspired to pursue a life less ordinary. Click the subscribe button to keep up to date as we see where this journey takes us. In the last episode, we lost Pa overboard, but after safely retrieving him, we explored more of the Costa Rican coastline and saw some great wildlife. In this episode, we're going all the way to Panama, but not before exploring some great spots in Costa Rica. Drake Bay is named after Sir Francis Drake, who is said to have used the port in the 16th century. It's very remote and accessed only by plane, boat or four-wheel drive, and is a must-visit for any vagabond. We had a quick stroll along the foreshore before dark, admiring the lush surrounds. There's our home. I'm going to head out there. This is a beautiful little dock we've been tied off to. And we're off. This is Drake Bay. We spent the night here last night. Beautiful little spot. So we haven't all been feeling that great the last few days, but um, we're having a wonderful downwind sail and we've done some baking already this morning and now the other guys outside, the boys are playing Legos and the girls are making some jewelry with mini. While I do some editing and Chris and Pa are sailing. So it's a very productive day. Delicious banana cake, a couple of loaves of bread, and oh, in here is a yummy chocolate slice. We've already had a taste test of that one. I've set up my editing station here. Archie's getting, making, what are you making? Lego dinosaur? Trying to? What are you making, Finn? A monster truck. Monster truck. And these lovely ladies are making some beautiful earrings. Hello. Hey. Hello. You guys keeping the boat moving? Yeah, we are. It's a stunning sail. It we're, is. We're not doing a regular sailing. We're just watching. We're 21 knots through minus. We're doing eight, nine. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's very yeah, comfortable. Lovely. Very comfortable. Yeah, there you go. So this headland through here is uh, Pavonix, which I'm sure I've nailed the pronunciation of, uh, which is the world's longest left-hand surf break. It's the first time we're getting eyes on it. Today it is not working at all because the wind's coming straight on it. Um, but we're thinking we might be able to get a kite, so we're going to head up the headland a wee bit more and uh, or into the bay, I guess, and see what we learn. But uh, it's cool to get eyes on it.
After a session, I come in and grab the line with a buoy and clip attached. This runs to a cleat so my kite is attached to the boat. I then clip on just above the chicken loop. Now my kite is secure. I land and then undo and swim back to the boat. We then can either pull the kite in by the front lines or leave it out ready for the next session. So we're off again. Ted did make it back to the boat, yes. folks. Yes. yes. Rehydrating after his big session out there. Yep. And we are heading further into Golfito. been opening coconuts. humid but super interesting I was doing a good job dodging all those shipwrecks yes there's a couple of them that's yeah. for sure there's actually another one just off our port it's crazy interesting place very interesting. Yeah. Because it's kind of an overcast day, it feels kind of strange. It does feel strange. Yeah. Really strange. Mm. I'm sure it'll be interesting to go and explore. Oh, there's Pelican of London. Oh, that one's Pelican of London. It has AIS. Yes. Bien. Golfito Bay used to be a bustling port for banana growers up until a disease wiped out crops in the 1980s. Now palm oil industry has taken over and a small flow of tourists visiting for fishing, bird watching or surfing trips. It's our last stop in Costa Rica and the most yacht friendly stop since Playa del Coco. Yeah. 
third, third taxi for the day. Yeah. We've done uh, immigration, bank, customs, and we've got one more to go. Port Captain. Yeah. Getting it done. Campatania. So we are officially checked out of Costa Rica. Considerably easier yeah. compared to Mexico. Uh, so that's a win for Golfito. And we plan to head south to Panama tomorrow, mañana. We are leaving the Banana Bay. You better put on the um, clean sheet. <laughs> Come on for anchor up. Thank you, Banana Bay. You've been very good to us. Massive props to Gabriella, the lovely lady who runs Banana Bay. She runs the show. She runs the show. I dare say she could run the whole town. She's an oh, absolute she's weapon. Yeah. yeah. So, big props for sure. This leg from Golfito in Costa Rica to Panama City in Panama is about 350 nautical miles, which is three days and two nights or thereabouts. The main trick for this leg is rounding Punta Mala, or in English, bad point. There's current and wind that needs to be taken into consideration as you round this point and ultimately start heading north again towards what is the Caribbean and Panama City. We rounded the point with good conditions and got a wee bit too excited a little bit too early. Costa Rica, you're awesome. Beautiful country, beautiful people. Highs and lows of Costa Rica. Just out in front of it, he's that little speck there, so. Yeah, he's one of those dots. One of those little specks, yep. Found a bit. So I'm going to go back into this. You're ready for night passage. All over it, all over it, all over it. Sit beside me, darling. Sit beside me, listen to your record. <laughs> <laughs> she might Love put her audio book in and ignore you. Yeah. <laughs> More than likely. Knots, but 
we are pushing three knots plus at current. This is around the, the canal. The Afura. We're only about, we're not far offshore, uh, with the idea of trying not to get long lines. Here in Panama, they have like disco long lines, at least it's something you can see that, like the disco, uh, it's like these flashy light things. So we're on high alert for long lines. And having our pants pulled down by the current. We've just jumped on our shift this morning after relieving Mini and Pa. We've done an amazing effort to get us through the rest of the night. It was an eventful night with loads of lights, lots of long lines. And we, we made it through the night and without getting caught up on anything, so that's a huge win. of Punta Mala actually went quite smoothly. It was the wind against current calculations as we were heading north straight into the trades that caught us a wee bit by surprise. It was short, it was sharp and it was just not where we wanted to be. We are uh, now sails up, turned the corner yeah. and we uh, doubled our speed. So that's the wind, we're doing eight knots, 7.8 be precise and uh that yeah, we, were getting, we were getting a bit over the oh, two knots, three knots that we were doing earlier. Felt like we were gonna break something. Oh we were just the swell was just yeah. Anyway, now up. we're using it using the wind instead of bashing straight into it. It's good. Yes. The end, the end. We're coming into Panama and you can't really see just yet but Boats on the horizon. Can you hear me? It's windy. Is up top. This is us, this little catamaran symbol here. Oh, it was. This is the Panama Canal. We've got two ships on their way out, and we are wanting to get across here and into where we check into the country. I'm down here actually doing some work, uh, and Shona's doing a phenomenal job of bringing us in. But I can't help but keep an eye on stuff. It's quite cool actually. So do we slow down or do we speed up? Does it look 
funny with my flannel tied around my neck. <laughs> you like my flannel scarf. Fashion statement for the Panama. Uh, I've got one coming in. Yeah, I've got this big one. Ugly car carrier thing coming at me. At seven knots. We're doing about 4.8 knots. It's the channel between. And we're going across the Panama Canal Channel at the minute to try and get to Flamenco Marina. Spot the yellow flag. We are in Flamenco Marina, Marina and they have stuff like coffee. Yeah. And it's been. Oh, and lots of boat shops, so we're excited when Just... they open, we're going to go boat shop. But we need to boat keep keep shop. to a list, otherwise, things just going yes. to. Gonna... Actually, it'll, it'll get crazy. We've got to add something else to the list. We need a new block for the dinghy rabbits. Oh, we do. Yes. But at the moment, we are waiting for customs and immigration and a measure up for the canal. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We have no idea when he's coming. Join us next time as we go to the Panama Canal and we can't wait to show you. It was super exciting. Show your support. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Just over here, and you're ruining the video. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the sound, the sound on this one will have to be mute and with a voiceover.